I think I'm gonna call this plane the Nate screw up plane. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you said I could roast you in this video. Who flies a plane with the prop on backwards? Some people do. Actually, I mean, that would be a mistake I would make. <laughs> Nate flew this plane for you guys about a week ago and his first takeoff, now let me tell you, it's hard to hand launch a plane by yourself, especially one like this. So uh, kudos to Nate for actually doing it in the video. Um, but his first attempt to take off, the plane just kind of went down. So we thought, he thought, the prop was on backwards. He flipped it. He probably chucked it a little harder yep. on the next on the next hand launch. And it, it flew. Sounded terrible. Flew even worse. We were probably almost about to burn up the ESC. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but it was a success. After we turned the camera off, Nate flipped the prop back again and it flew a lot better. Still a little loud, but yeah, it was so much better. So I thought, Nate, I loved my old plane that looked a lot like this. I think it's called like the Dynam Hawk Sky. Do you guys remember that? Have you been around that long that you remember when I flew a plane that looked just like this? If so, comment below, let me know. So I said, Nate, I wanna fly this, see if I can do it. I'm a little worried about launching myself Usually Nate would help launch, but he's gonna try to film. And just show you guys that this isn't as terrible as what we made it look in the video. <laughs> it was pretty bad. When we make mistakes, we like to own up to it. And that was a big mistake we made. And we just laughed about it. And I think Nate made fun of himself. He edited that video. I think he made fun of himself in the text on that video and in the description box. And I think you guys probably roasted him too if you didn't. Please. Go oh, it's back already and started. Roast him. I'm sure the comments of this video are very colorful. Boom, roasted. All right, let's go fly. She launches things opposite of me, but she did it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Her voice echoed off the building. That was a wild launch. You can ease off on the juice. Quite a bit. It flies way better than... Apologies. That was my fault. I was trying to fix my sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, I think I maybe should have had a little bit more throttle on that. Yeah, on your launch. And I was using my mouth for the elevator. Dude, that's so stupid. Oh, oh my god. It, uh, it did it though. Yeah. It never touched the ground. It almost. Wow. It probably maybe got a little I use my mouth for throttle. You use yours yeah. for elevator. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I chucked it with my right hand. So, man, I had to use you... my mouth for the elevator. I think most people probably throw it with their left hand. At least yeah. something like this. I uh, don't have very much coordination on my left side. I'm a pretty weak person. I'm not very strong. So I have to do everything with my dominant arm. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job flying this. Um, bring it in like a little lower if you can and really close to us. That way we can hear it because it is more efficient than in the video I did. Whoa, you are diving. Good. So the best part about this airplane is the price. Uh, the worst part, I think, is... There, nice loop. Double loop. The worst part was, if you've never flown a plane before, it might be a little hard to put together as your very first one. And we picked a nice, really cloudy day to fly this white airplane, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> It's a good follow-up for this. Abby is flying with just an old-school dumb radio. There's no smart technology or safe technology in this, no telemetry or anything. It's just a just a basic radio, as cheap as you can find. We'll put this thing in the air. And she's also not using any Expo, no... Um, yeah, like trims of any kind or ra no dual rates. I mean, we do have it trimmed up. And no no lanyard around our neck either. We're See, just crazy. We are crazy. Oh, <laughs> don't don't crash. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Too upset if I crash. No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. 
You're doing a, this really is good the job. first plane without sleep that I've flown, I think, in a long time. Okay. Well, then it's really good that you yeah. got out to, to fly this. <laughs> I'm just happy I got it in the air. You did. <laughs> On the first try, that's better than you can say, Nate. Yeah. Maybe you should take off like I did. No. Elevator with your mouth. It would not be in one piece if I did that. <laughs> It'd be a fun challenge, though. <laughs> You're doing a good job just cruising around. If you choose to try a roll, I'm not even going to encourage you no, to. No, the dihedrals, the roll is just... Yeah, they're slow. That's why I did a loop. Yeah. Usually I would roll, I think, before I would do a loop. Yeah, I think so. This is easier to do a loop than a roll because the wings. So the wing curves on this for our people that watch but don't fly. And when you have a curved wing like that, like a U shape, even though it's a really long stretched U, flat squished U, that's called dihedral. And it kind of is like auto stabilization for an airplane. It makes it want to fly the way Abby's flying it now. If you put the airplane upside down, it pushes the airplane to want to turn over. And so if you roll it, uh, you're forcing it to go upside down the way it doesn't want to, and it will fight it. And you have to put a lot of upside down elevator in when you're doing a roll on something like this. But Abby's loop, all she has to do is pull back on the right stick and make sure she has enough speed and she can pull off a loop. And she did. And now we have a squeaky lens. What do you think, Abby? It's pretty easy to fly. It reminds me a lot of my old Di his Dynamox Skyplane. It reminds me a lot of that. Um, I do miss the comfort of safe. <laughs> yeah. But it is nice to have full control over a plane. Like most of what you see is either me or it's the wind and me correcting it. So it's it's definitely a lot more of a challenge to fly than when safe's on because safe in AS3X does all that for you. <laughs> yep, well said. I'm impressed though. You're not acting like you're struggling at all. You're just flying. Oh, I gotta figure out this land. Abby, someone is, they just fired up a grill. Yes, it does. Well, the landing you're just gonna do in the grass. Should I be thinking about landing? Yeah, give it a uh, practice approach. Because I'm not going to do another takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> practice approach. Yeah, and you'll notice that this one actually takes a little while longer than expected to bleed off the airspeed. Yeah. Try that again. You're going to want to go like way down. taking it as far down as she can and then there's no wind right now so it's working out for you yeah zero throttle nose down I think you can do it get that nose down now bleed off the airspeed it likes mm, yeah I know I know it's a glider oh, I'm go it. to the next go to the next patch go over here lift 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 oh <laughs> a little oh, skip oh you hit the light <laughs> The one the light. I knew I had to live in the grass. I knew I would hit the wow, one light. Wow, the one light. That's like how I killed one of my planes before. Actually, it was my Millennium Master. The only like place I could possibly hit something, I hit it and destroyed That's it. That's okay. Got a little bit of a dent of honor, we'll call it. That's not bad. <laughs> From my... <laughs> it was either that or give it road rash on the bottom with the pavement or I could have just taken it around again let's be honest I probably should have just <laughs> maybe it around again and tried it again uh, new place not used to landing here and in the grass so it's gonna take a while to get used to but here you go our second flight my first flight my maiden of this yeah the name's really all over the place plane. I know it says Victor on it but I know that's not what they're calling it online <laughs> It flies pretty well though. A little raspy kind of motor, but uh, I don't know. I just love this style plane and to be able to find one for pretty cheap, I think that's pretty cool. So I'll have everything you guys need to get this in the air and this linked in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. I know you guys probably can't tell. Maybe you can over here a little bit. It's a beautiful day. It's Fall gorgeous colors. out. Gorgeous out. This is probably the best fall we have had in a long time like a few years at least it's the prettiest colors we've had so for that i want to thank god it's just 
a beautiful day and I get to share it with you guys and my husband and so I am very blessed and very thankful to him. I also want to say thanks to our RC patron family. You guys are the backbone to our channel and uh, we really appreciate all your support, especially you guys scrolling by on the screen right now. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you very much. Before we go, go check out this random RC plane video that I'll pick out later for you to watch. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good one. It'll be worth your time to go watch. So click that and we'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching.